of the possible, perhaps probable, Sanders 2020 campaign? Yeah, I think I think Bernie would have won. And I think I, you know we'll we'll see um, who the candidates are, but uh, I'm you know if, if Bernie Sanders runs for president again, I'm I'm definitely ready to to support a Democratic Socialist for president. <laughs> see, I think that's huge. Uh, not just that you have a DSA member now. We had no DSA electeds other than Bernie Sanders, I believe, in, in federal government or in New York State government for sure. And if you recall, New York State was a landmine for him. You could not find anybody worthy of even saying his name. I mean, I was in green rooms with people like Anthony Weiner, who, <laughs> how's his, his life now? Uh, <laughs> Anthony Weiner, who was supposed to be mayor at one point, uh, said to me in a green room, Bernie who, Bernie who, Bernie who, Bernie who, and he kept saying it over and over again, taunting me, because I was going on to defend Bernie. That's not the world that we live in today in New York. It's been two years. Uh, New York has, I, I travel the country, looking at all the different state parties. We have the most entrenched uh, democratic machine in the state, and we have a mayor who just went to Vermont and spent the weekend talking about socialist ideas. He's not all, all the way there, but he's, uh, He's being pushed. I mean, there was a, a conversation about Amazon, a very confrontational conversation about Amazon that came up multiple times at the conference. Uh, Bernie Sanders himself, you know, of course, took on Amazon. This is the kind of discourse we need out there in the mainstream. So I hope he runs. I hope it, it, you know, we hold him accountable because he's a stronger leader when he hears from us. Uh, but I, I do think it'll be a very different world in 2020, and it'll be much more welcoming uh, to other people like us uh, who don't have the money or the resources or, the, or, quite frankly, the power. But you get economic power by, by, by having political power. So for him to run, I think it would be advantageous to everybody, uh, and it would be very scary for Wall Street and the real estate in, in, industry in New York City. Let me tell you the first time that I was in touch with Bernie Sanders. Remember I was telling the story of how our party went from 3% to 40% and we formed government and suddenly the, we, we were confronted with uh, um, a, a, an all-out assault by everyone. By, by everyone. Second day I was in the ministry, second day after the election, I received uh, an email from a certain senator in Vermont, uh, copying a letter he had sent to the International Monetary Fund on behalf of the, the Greek people, effectively lambasting the IMF for using American people's money, taxpayers' contribution by the United States population, to uh, squeeze the living daylights out of a small bankrupt people. It was a very moving moment. Nobody knew who Bernie was in, in Greece, and I think even in the United States, uh, in January 2015. That's just for you to know. Yeah? This is the kind of man he is. Uh, secondly, I think that, I'll tell you what I like about Bernie. This is an impression I have. I may be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, but this is an impression. It's a very firm impression. He understands that his political capital, the one that, that he now has, is an accident of history. He doesn't take it very personally. He, 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 he does not um, um, see his rise as um, something that has to do with um, his brilliance. Now that's very important because none of us are important enough to have made history. History makes us accidental. I mean, I'm here as a result of historical accident. You would never have known me if Greece had not gone, gone down the toilet in 2008, 2009. Okay? And he understands it. He does not believe, he doesn't love the sound of his voice. Uh, and that is very important for a democratic socialist. But he has this political capital for reasons of a historical accident, and now he has a political and moral duty to put it in use, to create it, to create a kind of wake behind which you lot can uh, storm the various winter palaces and summer palaces uh, <laughs> of the United States of America. 
So he needs to do this, uh, and I think that we all need to encourage him.